One day, I was invited to a Christian school to speak, and it was a girl's school. So I went to speak to them, and the first question they told me is, why do you have a beard? <laughs> why do you have a beard? So I said, what do you mean? They said, no, these are Talibans. <laughs> Talibans. So Allah put it in my mind. This was a pure Christian school. You know, they had uh, idols <coughs> that they have, little pictures and portraits and so on. I said, you know, to be very honest with you, we follow the prophets. And you know, I don't want to use the Prophet Muhammad's example because you don't believe in him. We are talking now to Christians. But I want to tell you, when I walk in the streets of Harare, Harare is the capital of Zimbabwe, where I come from. When I walk in the streets of Harare, the small boys, they say, Jesu. You know what is Jesu? Jesus. Says, there is Jesus walking. Hmm. But when they see your priest, they don't say that. Are you following what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. When they see your priest, they don't say, there is Jesus walking. I say, but why? The reason is, we follow Jesus as well. I did not see Jesus without a beard. Anyway, I saw him with robe. And you drew the picture. I don't even believe that that is the proper picture because we are not allowed to make those pictures. But you drew the picture according to your picture. I, am, I have got a beard. I look closer to him than any one of you. So they were quiet. So one other girl thought she was clever. So she said, but what about your women? Why are they also covered? You cover them. You know, this question comes up all the time. So I said, because we follow the mother Mary. Finished. <laughs> closed. <laughs> Topic closed. Topic clo Our women are closer dressed to what Christianity teaches than the Christians themselves. We are purer in Christianity than the Christians themselves. Because look at the dress code, look at the morals, look at the conducts, look at how strictly we follow the Ten Commandments, look at how we would like to, you know, stop certain things from happening and so on. And every little while they find it creeping in. The church sometimes will allow homosexuality, they will allow, it changes. They change it in order to get more people to follow. With us, even if no one is following, the deen will remain. And still there will be people who will follow. So let us remember, when you want to think of answers and when you have discussed, you will have the answers. Now to cover yourself, how can that be oppression? Because today I am covered. If in 50 years from now, they might tell the men that if you don't move with shorts, you are oppressed. Then what are we going to do? All of us are going to move in shorts. Allahu Akbar. You, can you imagine myself and everyone else here sitting here in shorts, one short only like this. They say, no, if you don't wear short, you are oppressed. So the sisters who are seated here, some of them are fully covered. Some of them have their faces open. Nobody has forced them to do that. It is their own will. They are Muslim. They are surrendering to Allah.